At this refugee camp in Lebanon, Syrian children jump in front of the camera, repeating what roughly translates to the slogan, victory or death. More than a million Syrian refugees are packed into Lebanon, a country of less than five million people. Hader al Harfush, the camp sheikh, and father or grandfather to many of the people who live here, says the families had no choice. Our homes and our workplaces were destroyed. We were obligated to run away to Lebanon. We came here barefoot and homeless. Refugees say while Lebanon's borders with Syria are technically open, many Syrians are not being allowed to cross for security reasons. Last month, Islamist militias with Islamic State and al-Nusra Front came in from Syria and attacked a border town in Lebanon, capturing Lebanese soldiers and killing others before retreating back into Syria. Militants later killed three soldiers and threatened more executions. And the violence continues, with a roadside bomb killing two more Lebanese soldiers last week. At the camp, Ghada Mohammed, her husband and four children, survive solely off aid vouchers worth less than $200 a month. She says the recent killings have caused authorities and regular Lebanese people to suspect that some Syrians support militant groups. We are living like outsiders, like we're not from the country. And actually, we walk among people and they stare at us like we are not one of them. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Antonio Guterres says the Lebanese are suffering not just from the violence, but from the refugee crisis itself. The impact uh, on uh, the daily life of Lebanese, on their salaries, on their rents, uh, uh, the, the impact on uh, the school system, the health system, uh, on uh, the infrastructure, water, electricity. Uh, all these requires massive solidarity from the international community. Despite hundreds of millions of dollars in international aid, the UN says it is not nearly enough to support the three million Syrians who have fled to other countries. Just in recent days, more than 100,000 Syrians have fled to Turkey as Islamic State fighters continue to capture lands. Al Harfush says no amount of aid will be enough for the people who can't go home. We hope to go back to our country and live safely. Before, we were happy in our country. We are humans. We just want to make our food and make a safe life for our children. And as the war continues to escalate, he says, a safe life for the children is becoming less of a goal than a dream. Heather Murdoch for VOA News, Becca Valley, Lebanon.